Okay, welcome to lesson number nine about functions in Python. Uh, again, this is kind of aimed at beginners. Uh, just a quick introduction to the language. Hopefully, uh, this will get you started. So, uh, basically what we're doing here uh, is making functions. I like to think of functions as little helper programs within a program. Um, so functions do something for the program. They do some kind of, of action or something. So uh, let's define a few functions and I'll explain uh, how they work and why. So first thing we have to do is define our function. So we use the DEF keyword and I'm going to make a function called print pi. Okay, I'm going to put parentheses here and again I'll explain all these little things later. So I'm going to print uh, pi is 3.14159 oops, not a 2, get a 3.14159 and I'm going to try that. Let's, let's run it, and you see absolutely nothing, okay? Um, and that's exactly what we wanted, or not what we wanted, but that's what we expected. Okay, so there's two parts to using a function. One is defining it. So I have created this brilliant function called printpy, but I haven't called it. To call the function, we use its name outside of the function. Um, notice there's a colon here, so this part is indented, so that's part of the function. This is not part of the function because it's not indented. So if I print pi, there we go. So this is where the, the flow of the program has changed a little bit, just like we had with loops. So program comes down, comes down, comes down. Print pi takes me back to here, does this, then jumps back to the next line. Now there's nothing there, so that's why nothing happens. Program ends. Um, so I'm going to make another function, print double. And this time, I'm going to put something inside the parentheses. Put a variable called x. And what I want this function to do is print x times 2. Oops, not s. OK, so same thing. I'm going to call it. I'm going to say print double 2. And let's run, see what we get. 4. So what happens is I put a 2 in the parentheses here. It sends that 2 here, so x now equals 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, and my function prints it, comes back to the next line. Okay, so that's pretty simple, I hope. Uh, now this one's interesting. This is where, uh, like this part so far is pretty, pretty easy, but this is where students really get confused. Um, so we're going to something called get pi. Again, this isn't probably the most useful function in the world. Uh, it's just an example. So I'm going to return 3.14159. Okay. So returning, uh, what I'm doing is I'm asking the function to send me the value. Okay. So in this case, for print double, I sent 2 to x. I sent a value, and it printed it. Okay. Here I'm not sending a value because it's empty, but it's returning it. So I want to say, I'll say x equals get pi in parentheses. And there's nothing in the parentheses because there's nothing in the parentheses here. And I'm going to say print x. And just run that. Okay. So this is, again, this is really confusing to beginners. Um, so what I've said is I'm making a variable called x. I'm setting it equal to the value of this. Well, what is this? Well, get pi. So I come up to get pi, and it says return 3.14159. So x is now 3.14159, because that is what was returned, and I print out x. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to make another function, define get double. And I, this time, I'm sending a value. Again, I'm calling it x. It doesn't have to be x. And I'm returning, okay, why not to put that actually there, x times 2. So I'm going to say, you know, dub, say y equals get double, uh, let's say 4, doesn't matter. So let's run it. Oops, yeah, didn't print, print y. There we go, 8. So same thing. I made a variable called y, and what does it equal? Well, it equals the value of get double. 4 goes into x, so x is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. It returns that. 
So now this is 8, so y equals 8, and we print out 8, as you see over there. Okay. I'm going to try a new function. And this is like we can combine uh, some of the different things we learned through the series. So I'm going to say define get greatest. And in this case, I'm actually going to send two values, x and y. So basically what we've got to do is we've got to compare them. So if x is greater than y, that means x is greatest. So return x. Okay. Else, so there's only two possibilities. If x is greater than y, or if they're equal, doesn't matter because they're equal, return y. Okay. So if x is greater than y, return x. Otherwise, return y because that is going to be our greatest number. Okay, so what I can do is greatest equals get greatest, say 10 and say 42. So hopefully it will return, oops, we got to print it. And let's run it. So it gave us 42. And this is one of those things like when you're you know writing your functions, you might want to test it. Okay, switch them around, make sure there wasn't a programming error. So it should still be 42, good. And so we know our function is working correctly. And again, this, this takes a lot of time to wrap your heads around as, as beginners. Um, I'm going to do one more function here. Define is even uh, x. OK, so to decide if something's even, basically what we can do is we just divide it by 2. And if there's a remainder, it's not even. So like 4 divided by 2, the remainder is 0. So that means it's even. Uh, 5 divided by 2 is 2, uh, and there's a 1 left over, so it means it's not even. So also, because I used is, usually when you see is, it's going to return true or false. So there's either yes or no type of answer. So if, if you remember from earlier in the series, x percent 2, that's the modulus, so that will give us the remainder. So if that equals 0, return true, else return false. Okay, notice the capitalization, and then it changed colors, it kind of tells you. Okay, uh, x percent 2, we got an error, it's a warning, why is that? Yes, I know. Um, so it wants me to you know, make, make the code a little bit shorter, but we're, we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to keep it in the structure so it's very clear what's going on. So basically what I can do, um, if is even, 42. If that's true, again, I could shorten that, but I'm choosing not to. Print even, else print odd. Okay, so, so let's run it. So 42 is indeed even. Let's change that to 43 and test it. Odd. Okay, so we know our function is working. Okay, so that was very quick introduction to functions. So I like to think that functions have four types. Um, this first one where we're not sending a value and we're not returning a value. Um, this one where we're sending a value, not returning. We're just printing it in here. This one where we're not sending a value, we're returning a value. This is pretty rare, you don't see this very often. And this one here where I send a value and return a value. That's, that's a very, very common uh, encoding, but you know, you'll come across and you know need to uh, type all these different types of functions out. Um, so again, watch this video a couple times and just kind of really try to wrap your head around what's going on. Um, and hopefully, you'll find a bit more. You know, later uh, as you study more Python, you'll get more experience and learn more about the different possibilities with that. Okay, that's that.